Jim Lazlovic is a sportscaster at KNSD TV. He played for the Chargers for a number of years, as well as other football teams, and he's been an integral part of the Heroes in Training program. Uh, Mr. Lazlovic, first of all, I'd like to present you with a, a plaque from the Heroes in Training program. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful photograph from uh, your day at uh, KNSD with your friends. Thank you. And also a certificate. That's great. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate that very much. Uh, it was fun having you all out. Okay, well, you enjoyed being there. Thank you. Um, first question I'd like to ask is, what do you feel, um, in keeping with the spirit of the hero training program, what do you feel are the true characteristics of a real-life hero? Well, I, I, I think very few of us have an opportunity to be heroes that make the headlines. Uh, you know, somebody who dies in front of a train to save somebody or pulls somebody out of a water, keeps a person from drowning. Um, or to serve our country and be, be a hero in that regard. I, I, I find heroism in day-to-day -day living. Uh, you know, I think there are some wonderful examples of everyday heroes, people who in, make decisions based on what's best for them and their community and who try to get involved. Um, I like to point out my friend Bruce and his wife Nora. He's a special ed teacher. And he's worked hard at it to be a good special ed teacher. And um, he's raised three children. They've all gotten college educations. He's, wor he's worked very hard to make it happen. And he gets involved in his community, travels the country, and just has a good time getting to know people. And I, I think that's maybe not uh, the classic definition of heroism, but uh, I just think Bruce and Nora, they're just great Americans. And I, and I think right. we need more people just like that who are basic, good, solid Americans who just enjoy life and their neighbors. Okay, well, too often the youth of America, specifically, doesn't look to those kind of uh, town heroes and stuff like that. They look nationally to the big sports star. Uh, obviously, Charles Barkley said he isn't paid to be a role model, but to be a basketball player. Uh, what do you feel are the responsibilities of nationally known uh, celebrities? Well, Charles is right to a certain degree. You know, he is a terrific entertainer and basketball player, one of the most entertaining basketball players of our generation. And once he steps off that floor, I think we have to separate Charles Barkley, uh, basketball player, Charles Barkley, fellow American, uh, he's going to do things right and wrong that are right and wrong for Charles Barkley. And, and we, as people who look up to sports stars and politicians, have to realize that these people have their individual lives too. And just because they do it or say it doesn't make it right for us. And so we have an obligation as sports fans um, to be able to separate that and uh, not always assume that our sports stars are, once they step off the field, to be looked up in as high a regard as they are on the field of endeavor. Um, many of them are. Uh, some of them aren't. Um, and uh, some are at different stages in their lives. So Charles has a pretty good point. Well, everybody's different who plays sports, that's for sure. And, and there are going to be guys who, who want to shy away from a certain responsibility, which I think they, they do have. But I also think that the viewing public has an obligation. We as sports fans have to be able to separate what a player does on the field or on the floor or on the ice and what that person does off the uh, field of athletic endeavor. And I mean, we can marvel with what that person does. Barkley's one of the most entertaining players in basketball today. And much of what he does in life is worth making him, uh, putting him up in a pedestal. But I think w we can't just assume that because a person like that does or says something that that's the right thing. We have an obligation to look at that person's behavior and um, make a decision based on what our values are. And so in a certain regard, Barkley's right. We must take the obligation ourselves to, to, to know what's right and what's wrong. And then if we see it in, in a person like that and want to imitate and, and hold them in high regard, then, then that's, that's fine. Okay, uh, finally, as a public figure yourself, I'd like to know how you feel that uh, you can influence the community and be a role model. Well, actually, I've just tried to become a part of the community. I, I think uh, I have a great opportunity because, as you say, uh, people know who I am uh, from having played for the Chargers and, and been on TV now in San Diego for 11 years. So it opens up a lot of doors for me, and I, I feel blessed that uh, I'm able to uh, just get to know people uh, a lot better in a little different way because of this recognition factor that's there with me. So uh, I just take every opportunity to, to kind of give back a little bit. Um, but, you know, I have obligations to my family, and uh, he, he, we talk about all the great things that have happened in life, and to me that's the, really the most important thing that's happened, to have you know, the two children and a wife. And, and uh, that's really where my first obligation is. Well, I think being involved is an important thing. And you've seen a lot of good examples, I think, in the Heroes in Training program of uh, folks in Coronado who give a little extra whenever they can um, to help uh, 
w with certain matters. And so uh, I've been lucky over the past 20 years, first being involved in football and then in television, to be asked uh, to do and to be involved in a lot of things. Special Olympics is a great example. Every time I'm asked to take part in Special Olympics, they thank me warmly for being there and, and contributing a little bit, but I always get more out of it because the love that's shared in Special Olympics is just something you can take with you and hold with you and, and, uh, and think, gosh, why can't we all behave a little more loving and hugging and, and, and cooperation like that? So I've always benefited more greatly from the contribution that I've, that I've received than I've given. So I, in that re regard, feel very lucky. Okay, great. Thank you very much for Thank being you, with Dan. us. Thank you, Dan. Always good talking with you. Okay, thanks.